everyone and welcome to today's video. I am going to keep this video within the same theme as the previous one, which is Instagram. As some of you may know, my day job is in digital marketing, uh, which means that I use social media on a daily basis. And today I wanted to share with you two of my favorite tools that I have been using with Instagram lately. The first one is called Social Rank and it is a website. It's, um, you do that through your browser and you can connect with either your Instagram account or your Twitter account. Um, it works perfectly for both. I use it with Instagram and it's basically gonna pull um, your followers and your following. I use it mainly with followers and it's gonna do these rankings based on certain criteria like most active um, followers or most um, valuable um, followers. So for example, I believe if they take into consideration both um, like followers and engagement that they have and they tell you out of the people that follow you these are the people that have like the highest um, value in a way. So I find it very interesting and very useful as a marketer because it gives you an insight into who your audience is and allows you to get to know your audience a little bit better. Uh, it also allows you to see you know, who they are, what they're liking, and kind of maybe uh, tailor your content to that audience like better. It is a free platform. Uh, I believe they might have a paid option, but the free version gives you a lot of information and I honestly don't see the need to pay for it. Um, but that's great because that means that you have access to all that information for free. The second tool that I want to talk about today is called Adobe Spark Post. Um, they're part of Adobe and the Spark kind of like brand, I would say, has more than one uh, type. I think there's Adobe Spark Pages and Adobe Spark Video. Um, I, got, I like the post one, which is very targeted for social media. And if you've ever used Canvas, then it is pretty much the same thing. You go into the app and there's, uh, either you can create a graphic from scratch or you can use one of their pre-made templates. Um, and what I really like about Adobe Spark is the fact that they have one of the layouts that they have is specifically for Instagram stories. And as we know today, Instagram stories is very important because the algorithm uses that um, when they take into consideration who to show your content to. So it allows also to do like little animations and maybe make your Instagram stories a little more, like to spice them up a little bit more. And it's also free. And um, I think that's great. It's not part of the Adobe Creative, Creative Suite. So if you don't have the CC version of Adobe, it's okay, you can still get Adobe Spark. It's an app on the phone. I believe you can also get it through your browser. Um, and I have absolutely been loving using it. It has the logo of Adobe Spark that shows up on their template, but you can tap it and delete it. You don't need to pay for anything in order to delete the logo. Um, so yeah, just little tip. So these are two tools that I have been absolutely loving lately and that I would highly recommend that you check out um, if you're into Instagram and you want to invest more time on your Instagram. If you have any recommendations of other tools or apps that are useful for Instagram um, and that you would like to share with other people, please leave them in the comment below. I would love to check them out and I'm sure um, other people would love to see them as well. If you like this video, don't hesitate to subscribe or hit the like button. Um, I will see you in the next one and thank you so much for watching.